morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up. I put my hair in this like big top knot on top of my head last night, which used to be like my signature hairstyle in high school. I always would just like pile my hair on top of my head and make like a big messy bun. But when I cut my hair short, I could only do buns like back about here and my hair has been growing so much lately. I was like, wow, I, I can almost fit it all up here. I've got some baby hairs falling down. So um, I woke up about 30, 45 minutes ago and I've just been on my phone. I did some work. I moderated some posts on the Confident and Kind Facebook group. I got a sponsored Instagram post up, sent out some emails and I, I don't wanna spend my whole day working in my pajamas in bed. So uh, as comfy as this is, it's time to get up. First thing I need to do before I really do anything is start the upload of the vlog I wanna post today because that will probably take like 45 minutes to an hour. So I might as well get that started before I even do breakfast or my walk or anything. This was actually on my to-do list to do last night before I went to bed, but um, Steven and I were filming a main channel video yesterday, and the thing is, if I need help filming a video right now, I have to film it either on the weekends or after five o'clock, because Steven is still working regular hours for his job, and some of my videos I can film totally by myself, so I just film them whenever I want, but for any of them where I need Steven's help, you know, positioning the camera, focusing, anything like that, I have to make Make sure I film it when he's not at work. Even though he's here, he's, you know, at work in his office. So yesterday I filmed a like comfy outfit ideas video and I had like 10 outfits, but each outfit I showed anywhere from like two to six variations on that outfit. So it actually ended up being more like 30 outfits, maybe even 40, I'm not sure. And it took a long time to film. I had estimated that we'd film from like five to nine and we actually ended up filming from about five to 10.30. So by the time we finished and we still wanted to watch Survivor, cause Survivor comes out on Wednesdays, I was like, I'm done, I'm out, I'm moving the last few things on my to-do list to tomorrow. Which I am actually very excited about my to-do list today. I will insert it right here. I have to do lists like this for every day of the week, but usually there's only like four or five things on them because each of the things take a long time to film. Like yesterday, one of the items on my list was just film comfy outfit ideas video, but that, you know, took five hours. But today I have a lot of things on my to-do list and uh, a lot of them are like quick, little, easy, you know, five to 10 minute tasks. Some of them will take longer, but the fact that my to-do list looks so long just brings me so much joy because I know I'm gonna feel extra productive just checking all of the things off the list versus when I have like four things on the list, but each of them is gonna take like hours. Yeah, I'm being just as productive with my time, but it doesn't feel as like satisfying, if you know what I mean. All right, vlog is uploading. I need to write the description, but I'm gonna do that later because I am so hungry. <laughs> we had an early dinner at like 3.30 or four yesterday because we knew we were gonna be filming during dinner time. And then after we were done filming, I was like kinda hungry, but not that hungry. So I just had an apple. And by the time I got into bed, I was like, oh my gosh, I am so hungry. Woke up, still hungry. And I'm actually very excited because I'm testing out the company Daily Harvest for a YouTube video where I try like products that YouTubers swear by. And apparently this is Aspen Ovard's favorite smoothie company. And I have all these little frozen smoothies and then these two are bowls that I can have for breakfast. So the question is just which one do I wanna have? All right, so I just made my first Daily Harvest smoothie and I filmed it for the main channel video, so you guys will see that later. It's pretty good. It honestly tastes more like my protein shake than it does like a smoothie because this is the chocolate and hazelnut one, but it's pretty high in protein, which makes me happy. But I'm more excited to try the fruitier ones that also have protein. That's what, that's what I'm really excited for. All right, I'm gonna go chill outside with the dogs, drink this, relax. Oh, the dogs are barking. <laughs> Come on, good job, we listen. You were barking, but you stopped and you listened right away. I'm so proud of you. Good 
job, girls. Well, guess I won't sit outside because the dogs uh, were barking, so I don't want to let them back out because that means the neighbor dog is out and they'll just bark back and forth. Once I finish this, I'm gonna get into some workout clothes, do a little hike, and then I haven't vlogged for the past, I think, three or four days. We were just super busy filming. I filmed every day the last three days. I'm trying to kind of get back ahead of my videos and then I also had like a couple sponsored videos. So whenever a video is sponsored, I have to film it like further in advance than I normally would so that the brand can see it before. So it's just essentially filming and then I edited a main channel video, which I don't usually edit my main channel videos, but I like to do one every now and then if I have like a specific vision or I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping my skills brushed up or if my editor is too busy, any of those things. And this main channel video was so fun to edit. It's the YouTuber products one, which I'm not fully done with, obviously, but I finished everything except for the daily harvest because I was waiting on that to get delivered and it came last night. So I'll just insert this into the video in a couple days once I get to try all of the different items that I ordered. But editing that video and then also filming a lot, I just, I was like, there, I have no time to vlog. There's no way. Um, where all of this was going is a couple vlogs ago, I had told you guys that I felt like it was time for me to start, you know, integrating other exercises into my workout routine instead of just walking and hiking and running, but that I was really scared and really nervous about it. But on Monday, I did an arm segment after my hike, and now I have done that every day since, and it feels really good. I'm just using three pound weights because I, I have literally like no arm muscle right now. Like there's just nothing there. But my little circuit is like eight minutes, and so I think today I may add in a leg segment too. Do that for like another week or so, and then maybe add in like an ab segment or a jump roping segment or something like that. I feel like just building slowly on the physical activity that I'm doing is gonna be the way to actually make me stick with it instead of just creating some like ridiculous workout regimen that I'm never gonna be able to stick to. I feel like it's it's more realistic for me to start small, build from there, and build my workout routine as I'm also building stamina. Oh, Steven set up this new like Alexa thing in our house, this new like Amazon Alexa thing. And Steven's really big into smart home tech and just kind of tech in general, which is so nice and so convenient for me because I'm not very good with tech. But once he teaches me how to use something, like I will literally use it all the time and depend on it. So like we've had an Alexa in our bedroom and in the bedroom at the old house for about a year now. And he synced up our Philips Hue lights to work with the Alexa. So I literally don't think I ever use the light switch in that room. I would just say, Alexa, I'm whispering it so that it doesn't trigger my Alexa to go. But I would say, the name and then <laughs> turn on the lights or turn the lights to 50% and I just, I never use the light switch. So let me show you, cause I was gonna use it to tell Steven something real quick. I'm gonna show you what he set up yesterday. So we have this one down here in the kitchen and it actually has a camera on it and then we have one in my office and one in Steven's office. Bruiser, we're getting to the bottom of it, don't worry. So I can say, Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Did you feed the dogs today? Announcing. Did you feed the dogs today? And it announces it in all the rooms. Alexa, answer the call. Hey, Steven. Hey, I fed Bella, but Bruiser's food's on the fireplace, but she didn't eat. Okay, thank you. I'm showing the vlog your new smart home tech stuff. <laughs> so, see, you are hungry, and I didn't even have to go upstairs. There you go. Good girl. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Oh man, look how red my face 
say this, oh my gosh. All right, uh, I had a nice workout with my hike and my arm segment and I did some legs, not as much as I would have liked. I felt very awkward and almost uncomfortable because I didn't really have a plan for what leg exercises I wanted to do. Whereas like with my arm circuit, I, I already know what my little routine is. So I was like, oh, I'll do some squats. Oh, I'll do some bridges. Oh, I guess I'll do a wall sit. Like I didn't really have a plan. So I think tomorrow before I go on my hike, I want to actually like plan a little leg circuit so that I can flow through it more comfortably. But I'm glad I did it. I feel like that was a little bit of uh, facing that fitness fear. So I'm gonna drink some water. I've got my Be Kind to Your Body sticker on my water bottle. You can get these at confidentandkind.com or go to DFTBA and just click on my face and you'll see all my merch. DFTBA, the company that does my merch, they're still taking orders on all the merch, but there's only one person in the warehouse so that they can practice social distancing. So you can place an order on the hoodies, the t-shirts, the stickers, the hats, whatever you want, but shipping and processing is gonna be slower than usual. All right, I'm going to schedule this vlog now that it is uploaded. I'll do like the description, the tags, the end screen. I already did the thumbnail and then I'm gonna schedule tomorrow's main channel video. And once I do that, cause that again is gonna take a little while to upload, I'm gonna run downstairs, hop in the shower. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair today. I'm kind of feeling the like on top of my head bun look. Plus I'm running a little behind today and there, as you guys saw, it's a lot on my to-do list. So anything I can do to shave some time out of my getting ready routine. All right, I am showered. I have like a good chunk of my to-do list done. I sat down at my computer and just kind of like grinded out a couple of those tasks. I got dressed. I'm just wearing this little boxy crop top from Hollister and then these joggers from American Eagle. Did my skincare, put on some light makeup, keeping my hair up in the bun today. Can qualify as a bun this is like an ultra bun this is like just a, a giant top knot where I cram all of the hair on top of my head <laughs> So, um, I'm gonna make lunch. I was originally planning on making this veggie jumble that I made yesterday. I posted about it on Instagram and it was kind of a combo that I was trying for the first time of a couple of my favorite HelloFresh recipes. We do HelloFresh sometimes. We just kind of like turn it off and then turn it on when we are too busy to go grocery shopping. So we're not actually using HelloFresh right now, but we keep all of the recipe cards and we'll recreate the dishes that we really liked. And so I tried this combo of two of my favorites and it was so good. Steven said it was one of the best dinners that he's ever had. <laughs> so I was gonna make that for lunch today, but Steven actually isn't really gonna be taking the lunch break today and I know he really wanted to have this again. So I'm gonna wait and make that for dinner and then for lunch, it actually works out. I'll just have one of the daily harvest bowls because I need to try those for the main channel video anyways. And then I will be heading back upstairs to the computer to continue working. All right, I just made my daily harvest bowl and it is so good. The smoothie this morning, I was like a little meh on. It was just kind of whatever. Not really worth the $7, but this, this does not taste like a frozen meal. This is very good, very fresh, and I am very much enjoying it. All right, it is now about four o'clock. I'm catching up with Steven. Yeah, I just got back. I actually went to the other house because uh, twice a week I have to go over there now because I take the trash in and out. Yeah, we're still recycling all of the moving boxes. We have a big pile of moving boxes and then also shipping boxes for stuff that we've gotten yeah. ordered to the house. So in our downstairs bonus room, which we haven't really showed because there's still like boxes and stuff there, <laughs> there is a never ending pile of cardboard that Steven <laughs> is putting in our recycling here every trash day and in the recycling at the old house every trash day. Yeah. And it just, it never gets smaller. But today is the first day I'm trying to manage our pool a little better. I'm like, okay, time to like do the water test. So I'm doing that and like using the Leslie's pool calculator online, trying to figure out what the heck I need. And yeah, there's a lot of new vocab that I don't know what the heck it means, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to learn. <laughs> Anyways, I need to get back to work, so. All right, what time are you working till? Um, forever. No, I don't know. Maybe at least another hour or two. Okay, I'll probably have dinner ready at six. six? No, I'm hoping more like 5.40 because at six I need to set up for the podcast I'm doing with Skylar tonight. All right, so that means I'll start cooking in like 45 minutes or an hour and 
I'm just gonna try and crank out the last few things on my to-do list. I'm gonna prioritize going through the boxes for my video where I ordered from my followers small businesses. Those are in my closet and I'm filming that tomorrow so I just wanna make sure everything is good and here. And then I need to script the intro and the outro and do my talking points for that video since we are filming tomorrow. Probably won't have time to finish that before I cook dinner but I can definitely get started on it and then maybe finish it after the podcast or tomorrow morning. Sneak peek at some of the kind of unboxed small business products I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. The filming room is a hot mess right now <laughs> because we were filming so late last night I I was like I'm not cleaning any of this up right now so we cleaned up kind of as we went but like I I literally filmed I think 36 or 37 outfits it's just gonna stay messy for a bit that's the way it is but um the small business products are organized for filming tomorrow with minimal spoiling this is the kind of thing that I would usually have Carly or Jess unbox and organize so that when I sit down to film it's really my first time seeing it but Obviously just me here. I suppose I could have had Steven do it, but you know, he's busy. He's working. All right Are you guys ready for my new favorite recipe? Somewhat of my own creation Somewhat taken from these two HelloFresh recipes. Basically, I'm taking the idea of this grilled cheese and veggie jumble but modifying it with some of the stuff from this Zatar crusted grilling cheese recipe. Which is funny that both of these have like grilled cheese or grilling cheese because my recipe that I'm making has neither of those things. And then I also just modified with some of my own favorite things. So first thing you are gonna do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees and then chop up your veggies. What I'm gonna be using is one sweet potato and one onion. I meant to meal prep these and then I totally didn't. One avocado, one lemon, some radishes. I would use more than these, but this is all I have left. Some cilantro, and then either just fresh garlic that you chop up or minced garlic. This is what I like to use because it's a lot quicker. <laughs> some other ingredients you're gonna need are olive oil, couscous, and then today, in an attempt to make this meal higher protein, I'm gonna make some chickpeas, and uh, I, I think that'll flow well with this meal. We'll try this out today, but um, when I made this meal the other day, I did not use these, so maybe wait to, to follow this recipe fully, including the chickpeas, until I finish it today and can confirm that it tastes good together. So, while the oven preheats, I am going to chop up the onion and the sweet potato first. 20 minutes later. So I guess my sweet potato today was much bigger than the one I used yesterday because yesterday, one sweet potato filled up this whole thing and today, it filled up this and I have a bunch extra that I can have tomorrow. So I used about two thirds of the onion, put the other third in here. I'll just pop this in the fridge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this with olive oil and season it with some salt and pepper. Perfect timing, oven is ready to go. So I'm gonna cook this for about 25 minutes. I think I'm actually gonna do like 23 minutes today. Yesterday I did 25 and I think some of the onions were a little bit too charred. The trick is, to undercook the onions. So while that cooks, I am gonna go ahead and cook my couscous just on the stove top. Really quick and easy, I just follow the directions on the back of the container. I'm also gonna open up my can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. They're, they're the same thing, right? It's just two different names. So I'm gonna drain and rinse these and then we'll season them. So I'm gonna go ahead and try seasoning these with some chili powder, make them a little spicy. Some cumin or cumin, another one I never know how to say. Pepper, salt, and I'll go ahead and mix these up so that they're all equally coated. I'm setting the chickpeas to the side for now and the couscous is cooking. The veggies are still in the oven. I'll have to turn them in a couple minutes. But um, now I'm gonna take a big salad bowl and this is gonna be where like the finished meal is actually gonna be served out of. We're gonna chop up our radishes and our avocado. Chop up 
some parsley and leave half of it on the cutting board. We'll be using that in a second and add the other half to your salad bowl. However much cilantro you wanna use is totally up to you. This is about what I used yesterday and it tasted pretty darn good. So I'm gonna go with that again. All right, so cilantro is chopped, radishes are cut up, the lemon I cut into four wedges and then the avocado is all sliced and ready to be emptied. All right, so I'm gonna put the avocado in here, half of the cilantro and all of the radish. Now in a small bowl right here, this is where we are gonna make the little chimichurri dressing. I think that's how you say it, but I'm probably wrong. So I am gonna put in the other half of our cilantro, some cumin, quite a bit of minced garlic because it is my favorite. That amount may be very gross to some people, but to me, it's perfect. Some olive oil. Thank you, Bruiser. I appreciate the sentiment. And the juice of two of the lemon wedges. And we'll save the other two for later. Mix it up and set aside till we're done. Now our couscous just finished, so I am gonna add this to the bowl. And then in our couscous pan, I'm gonna go ahead and just roast these chickpeas real quick. Also our sweet potato and onion just finished, so I'm gonna add this to the bowl. I ended up doing about 22 minutes and I think it was perfect, but we'll see once we are actually eating the dinner. And the chickpeas are heated up, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. And now I'm just gonna toss this all together. Oh, almost forgot. I'm going to add in the juice of our last two lemons and toss it together. And I am gonna top both of these bowls off with our chimichurri mix. And this kind of acts as the dressing and I would honestly say kind of the primary flavor. So whatever flavors you really like, make sure you really put that in to the chimichurri. Yesterday, as I told you guys, Steven said this is one of the best meals that he's ever had. Yeah. He made an announcement on the Amazon Alexa. That's me know it's real. But um, I made one change to the dish today to make it higher protein, so Ooh, hopefully chickpeas. that- Chickpeas. A fairly good neutral. That's what I thought, but- Looks bomb. Here's the test as to if this recipe is you know, just as good as the chickpeas. Part of the one yesterday. What? You like low key burnt the sweet potato and it made it like crunchy and it was so good. Really? Cause I actually cooked them for less time today cause I thought that I burned them. But they're you still you crisp. Strictly, you strictly did burn them yesterday, but perfect crisp. Nom, nom, nom. All right, can confirm chickpeas do not affect the taste of this dish at all in a negative way. Uh -oh. Chickpea down. <laughs> They don't affect the taste, it's the texture. I would say this is probably the best recipe, my best recipe. Now, what do you think? That changes every time you come up with a new recipe, but. <laughs> <laughs> Can I even call this my recipe though? It's, it's no. somewhat original, but I took a lot from the HelloFresh recipes. But seriously, if you guys wanna test this recipe, I love whenever I post about a new recipe, all the people who tag me in their variations of it and how they changed it and how they made it better. Someone put nutritional yeast on the kale salad and I tried that a couple days ago and it was bomb. Hmm. So if you guys are gonna recreate this, I would love to see you tag me on Instagram and let me know what changes you made that made it even better. That was delicious. Steven is still working on his. We just sat on the couch and chatted while we ate. I got full before I quite finished mine. So I'm gonna put the leftovers here into a little plastic container and the leftovers in the bowl. So I'd say that that recipe that I just showed could probably feed about four people with the proportions that I had today. I filled up our bowls quite a bit and then this is everything that's left. I'll have this for probably either lunch or dinner tomorrow and see how it tastes reheated. I'm not totally sure how it's gonna taste reheated because I feel like hot avocado toasted in a microwave would be kind of weird. But uh, if it does reheat well, then I feel like this would be a great thing to meal prep. All right, it is 6.15. Oh, I'm supposed to start podcasting with Skylar in 15 minutes and nothing is set up. Um, we're both gonna have a white claw on tonight's podcast. So I'm gonna grab one of those. Steven, you got the dishes since I cooked? I reluctantly agree to this agreement. Yay, thank you. Could you also come help me set up for the podcast? I respectively decline invitation. You know I'll be up there. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. All right, we've got Skylar here on Google Hangout. Got the camera set up. Steven just left the room. 
Got my white claw. Virtual cheers. I'm so excited. Skylar's trying her first ever white claw, but on the podcast. So you guys got to check out the podcast. Alrighty. I just finished doing the podcast with Skylar. We finished about 20 minutes ago. It is now nine o'clock and I've just been sitting here organizing the footage, going through everything, sending it to Carly who edits the podcast. And it was such a fun episode. We talk all about Tiger King. It was like two hours. So, so excited for you guys to hear this episode. It it, it, it was a wild ride. Only thing I'm sad about is um, at about the hour and 20 minute mark, I think, maybe hour and 10 minute mark, we had to like pause and then restart because the camera battery was gonna die and I must have bumped the audio or something when we went to restart because it was, it was messed up. Luckily, it's just the end of the podcast, so it's not too crazy, but I am pretty upset about it. I hate when like a production goes super smoothly, whether it's podcast, main channel, vlog, whatever, and then I sit down to review the footage and it's just something went wrong. It's such a sad moment whenever that happens as a YouTuber and anyone who's created videos of any sort, I'm sure you can relate to this because it's one of those things where it's just gonna happen. It's gonna happen sometimes, whether it's audio getting messed up, uh, card being defunct, equipment breaking, or footage being lost. Like it just happens and it sucks when it does. But it, this is not that big of a deal. The podcast is still fine and good. So, um, left on the to-do list right now. I still need to script the intro and outro for the small businesses video, but considering it's already nine o'clock and I still have a bit of work to do, I'm gonna go ahead and move that to tomorrow. Hopefully I have time for it. I don't like having to move things from my to-do list to the next day because then it just makes the next day even crazier and then the next day and the next day, so. It's just one thing though, it's fine. Once I finish vlogging, I need to send over today's vlog footage to my vlog editor, Mario. Hey, Mario. I have been dying at all of his editor notes that he puts in um, to the vlog. I'm sure he's putting them in right now. Ha 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 ha, I have no idea. And you guys have seemed to be liking them too. So every time that either Mario or Rachel has done one of those, I've texted them and been like, I love the editor notes. Keep doing them. They're so funny. Um, and then I have to order some new equipment um, on B&H. I need a second set of lights and a second tripod. Right now we only have one set, so we've been moving them between the main channel filming studio and the podcast studio, and we're starting to scuff up the walls. And this lighting setup that I have, it's not like crazy professional or expensive, so it's worth it to just get a second set, have one for the podcast room, one for the main channel room. And I actually need to order a new white seamless backdrop for my little pulley system. We have run out of the white, which is uh, crazy because it seems like those rolls are never ending, but I have had them for I think three and a half years. So it makes sense. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and actually end the vlog here so I can check one more thing off my to-do list and send this footage to Mario. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Oh, that was Steven from downstairs. Frizzy, you want to say bye too? Bye. Bye.